So here we have it, the Bosklapper. Uh, really nice glider. Um, it has this nice handle to hold it onto. Um, these fins, like three layers here, which is cool to look at. And an angled front. Uh, in terms of weight distribution, it's very close um, to this kind of glider that glides really well, but doesn't really look that nice in my opinion. Um, so that's it. So I went for performance, but as nice looking as I could. And this handle is really nice to throw it with, and it just glides forever. I'm using a regular sheet of A4 paper, and we're going to start by just folding it in half this way. And as always, take your time to really align the edges before you fold it and check both sides. And this looks good to me. Then we're going to flip over the paper. So this is a mounted fold. We're just going to fold over over here, but you don't actually have to fold it. Just leave a slight pinch mark. Then fold towards it, mark, and even a lower pinch mark. And then we're going to fold all the way to the last pinch mark, like so. Then we're going to fold these corners towards the center crease. And you should have um, a slight gap between this edge and this edge. Do the same on the other side, like so. Um, next, take one of those edges and fold it so it's parallel towards the middle edge and leaves the same distance as between those other two layers. Like so. Open it up again, do the same on the other side. Like so. Then fold both these folds again and you will see in the middle this flap will come up and just work it all the way until the middle, like so. Crease it once to each side. Perform a squash fold by opening it up with your finger and then just flattening it towards the center crease, like this. And we're going to take this corner and fold it behind itself, so behind these layers. That's going to keep everything nice together will also give you something to hold the plane and throw it. Next up we're going to close up the plane, but you want to take this slow because there's a lot of layers and just slowly close it and help all the layers get where they should be. So don't force anything, try to work slowly. Just gently get everything into position. Next up, we're going to make the wings. And um, you want to make them almost parallel towards the, the bottom of the fuselage, but with the, the back slightly upwards. So you want them at a slight down angle like this. Um, but really not much, so almost uh, flat, but yeah. It's just going to give some extra stability. And um, if you're going to throw this just inside, indoors, without wind or anything, and you want to take the time to really trim the plane, then you can fold uh, right at the top of uh, this thicker part. Uh, else you want to go slightly higher for extra stability, if you're going to throw it outside in the wind or anything. Um, so it's a bit up to you. So for the best performance, indoors, without wind, just make the wings as low as possible so you have extra surface and for some extra stability you just make it slightly higher. I'm going to do it slightly higher and again so this angle is almost flat but just ever so slightly apart so something like this and that, that's also going to make the plane more stable. Then fold the second wing to match. Like so. And then for the winglets, uh, just fold them right above. There's, there's this little corner here. You just want to fold through that corner. And that should give you this kind of winglet. Do the same on the other side. And the plane is set. So now um, 
to finish it off, just wanna um, add some slight of elevator right here by just gently pinching it up with your thumb. Um, and you also want the wings, you want to roll them slightly apart and you want to set the wing angle so that you, when you release um, when you release a plane, the wings are flat or slightly up. That's it, I hope you like this plane and have fun flying it.